almost left the Toyota Tacoma for good. The real story. <laughs> That's right, I almost left the Toyota Tacoma for good. This is the real story. This is what happened to me with my first ever Toyota Tacoma. So sit back, get comfortable. I'm going to tell you what happened. It was several years ago. It was decades ago, actually. I had a Gen 2, well, decades, but it was several years ago. I had a Gen 2 Toyota Tacoma. Love the truck. I think it was the first mid-sized truck I ever bought. It was blue, very similar to that new blue that Toyota just came out with. Had a bull bar on the front, and I'll admit it, it was chrome. Didn't debadge, it wasn't into mods, it was my first foray into just having a mid-sized truck at all, so I didn't want to do anything to it, and if I'm being honest, I didn't know how to do anything to it, other than put that bull bar on the front, which was chrome, by the way. Maybe that had a little bit to do with it, I'm not sure, but I did love the look of it on that truck. Non-functional, had I ever hit anything, would have collapsed right back in and destroyed the grill probably. That was a pain to put on too, by the way. So anyway, I had bought a Gen 2 Tacoma. It's kind of a family vehicle. It was an awesome truck, but it had a problem. And I don't mean a mechanical problem. You see, I used to live up north in Ohio, up north from where I am now, which is deep south Texas. And of course, up north, we had winter weather. We would get rain with ice, sleet, snow, the whole 10 yards, right? Or maybe it's nine yards, but we had it all. So one day I was going out somewhere, I don't know, it was snowing like crazy. And I used to love to take it out in the snow. It was really fun to, to play in, right? But it was snowing like crazy. We'd gotten about six or eight inches of snow, something like that, and I decided to go to a store or something. By the way, that truck was a pre-runner. It had a locker in it. It was not four-wheel drive. That was my mistake. I'll tell you why. So I, I go out, I do my thing, I'm driving, and it's doing okay. Not too bad, but it's getting worse outside. Snow's accumulating, getting slipperier and slipperier. I get almost home. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn left into the court that I lived in and I slow down. I think I had probably stopped even because it was so slippery. I didn't want to go sliding past the entrance or make the turn and slide into the neighbor's yard. I was aware of that. So I, I stopped. I'm sure I stopped. Uh, I got stuck. I thought, well, no big deal, I have a locker in this truck, right? So I activate the locker. Well, that was a mistake, I think. I'd have probably been better off without it. So what happens is, I'm sitting there, right like three houses up is, is my house in this court. I go to turn left, the locker's engaged, I don't do anything. I just start fishtailing side to side from a stop. So I'm kind of doing the, what I called back then the Tacoma shimmy. I'm just doing this, I can't go anywhere. Well now I'm starting to get a bit upset, a bit angry. Why won't my truck go? I have a locker, it's supposed to go in this kind of weather. And by the way, I did have all season tires, so nothing more aggressive or anything. It wouldn't move, I could not go anywhere. I'm sitting in the middle of the road, stranded. Now, fortunately I'm close to my house. So I get out, I'm not dressed for this. I mean, I'm not wearing a, a snowsuit and big boots and gloves and all that stuff. I gotta trudge through the snow to my house, which again, was not too far. So I do that, I go to my house, I grab a, a shovel, a snow shovel, I head back to the truck. It's just miserable outside. Cold, windy, snow, right in the middle of a snowstorm. So I shovel the, the truck out, I get all the snow away from the tires, I shoveled a little bit of a path, and I was able to get going. It was just that simple. I get up to my driveway, I pull in, I leave the truck. I'm sweating to death now because I had to work and I'm unhappy. But all 
said and done, I'm home. That's what's important. So the next morning comes. The next morning is a work day. Snow had stopped. It's just really, really cold and windy outside. I'm dressed for work. I go outside. And back then, this wasn't what I wore to work. I had to wear dress pants, dress shoes, a tie, you know, the whole nine yards. I go out to get in my truck. I start it up. It's all great. I go to back out of the driveway, and it won't move. It won't move. The locker is still on, by the way. It won't move. The rear tires just sit and spin. It was a level driveway. It wasn't like I had to pull up or anything like I do now. So I'm in the driveway. It's cold. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. My truck won't move. I'm unhappy once again. I had to get out. I had to shovel. And no, I did not get up early and shovel the driveway. I would have done that when I got home. But I had to shovel behind my truck to get back into the street. Now, fortunately, overnight, the plows had come. Everything was plowed off. I didn't really have any big issue as far as, once, as getting back on the road, I should say. So I shovel the driveway. I get on the road. I go to work. This is the end of the story. I come back home. My driveway's full of snow because, you know, I'm not getting up early to shovel snow. I'm not doing it. So I get home, I go to pull in the driveway, the front tires go up, hit the snow, I'm about maybe a quarter of the way up my driveway, a little bit more maybe, and the back wheels hit the snow, and the same thing happens. I can't get up my driveway. I can't get up my driveway because all the truck wants to do is the Tacoma shimmy, back and forth. So whatever, I'm home now. I can go in, I get dressed, I put my boots on, all my stuff, you know, grab the shovel, shovel the driveway, and then back out into the street a little bit. We've all done this, probably, when, you know, when you can't get any traction. Back out into the street a little bit, give it a little bit more gas so that you kind of launch into the driveway. Well, that's what I did. Now, there's no horror story at the end. It's not like I overshot the driveway, slammed on the brakes, slid in, none of that good stuff. But I just could not get up the driveway. That was it for me. I couldn't believe it. I sold the truck about maybe two months later, something like that. I think I went with a car. I think it was a front wheel drive car, if I remember. And I'm not sure what car it was even. But my mistake there, of course, was living in an area like that, I should have had a four wheel drive. That would have made more sense, but I didn't have the money uh, or want to spend the money to be able to go on up to a four wheel drive. The pre-runner was all I could afford. so. It wasn't an option for me financially at that point. It was later on, I did buy a, another truck. I think it was probably not a Tacoma because I was so disgusted with it. I think I ended up with a, it was either a Ford Ranger or a Chevy S10, something like that, which I disliked for other reasons. But I never had any trouble with those. They weren't four wheel drive. They were two wheel and I think just not using the locker, uh, which they didn't have probably was the difference in being able to get around in those without having the same problem, which I never did. I never had the problems in those trucks. So anyway, that is how I almost left the Toyota Tacoma for good. I was so disgusted with it. I thought, if this is how these trucks are, who would buy them? Of course, that's changed since then. I've had six or seven. This is my sixth or seventh. Uh, and I love the truck. It really was my mistake trying to use, I guess, a locker for something that it really wasn't designed for. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here and kind of share that story with you guys. I was looking at the truck myself thinking, you know, gee, this is my sixth Tacoma. I must really love it. But there was a point that I did not. Leave a comment. Let me know. Back then, did you ever have a pre-runner with the locker in it? Ever experience anything like that? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about full size trucks. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor. Smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.